Y'all, I came to the craziest conclusion recently, and it's actually completely changed my life about materialism and manifesting and just obtaining more material goods, more money, more, you know, financial status. This is something that everyone thinks that they want, right? I think I want to have more money. Why do we want anything? Literally, the only reason we ever want anything is because we think it'll make us happy and feel good. We want to feel good, okay? Anything. We think it'll make us feel good. Everything is a result of wanting to feel good, right? There are so many billionaires and millionaires in the world that complain about how they have all this money and stuff like that but they're unhappy because they don't have love they don't have you know connection they don't have real true friends who knows they maybe they just can't balance their emotional states for whatever reason maybe they're in victim mode victim mode we're gonna have a conversation about victim mode soon that just goes to show that it is only a temporary happiness that will ever come from materialism therefore how i cannot put <laughs> too much stake in creating these material things for myself in this life i cannot because it won't make me happy i know that it's it's temporary i'll get my 100,000 a month and then now i want 200,000 a month i'll get my 200,000 a month i'll be happy and then i'll want my 300 and then i'll want a million we never stop wanting and y'all this is coming from a capricorn moon okay i think the solution to my problems is literally just to work harder and and create more like as a capricorn moon i'm realizing i used to get so unhappy when my finances weren't at the place that i wanted them to be or if like a business venture isn't going how i wanted it to go the thing about it is those things could go exactly how you want them to go but you're still not going to be happy like it's not going to bring you happiness listen y'all the only thing that will bring you happiness in this life listen to me y'all is the present moment and god and like the understanding that god is everything everywhere all at once through in and throughout this now moment okay and being present with the now the beautiful part about the now is the now you don't have to try in the now it's kind of like the sun right is always shining but the only time the sun isn't shining is just because the clouds are over the sun right the clouds you can think of as your thoughts and your desires right but as soon as you get out of your thinking mind and as soon as you stop thinking so much and as soon as you let go of all those desires, here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay? And it's all right. The cool part about it, the, the now, is you don't have to try. You don't have to try in the now. You don't have to try to feel good. You just do. By chilling out, chill the heck out, and be present and allow the now, the nectar of the moment, to fill in the gaps for you. You don't have to try. It's beautiful. It's so simple that it's easy to forget. It's crazy. And knowing that that is the only and like not even main, the prime source of happiness then what am i doing why am i sitting here fully trying so hard to chase materialistic goods chase money chase anything if these things are only an addition to the happiness to the fulfillment and to the love that is available to me now always that is the magic of the mind the magic of presence that's why they call it a present because like that is the ultimate present of life you can always and at any time tap into any state of being any state of emotion at any point in time because of the now it's available now it's a it's it's here now you can literally like i can sit here and i can imagine myself literally swimming 
in a big pool of like money. Ooh, like the sun is shining on me and I'm so happy and it feels so freaking good. I'm just, ah, like, and I can do that whenever. That, that is the, the gift of life, being able to do that mentally, right? If I can be as happy and as fulfilled and as connected to God as I possibly can here and now in the now moment, right? The universe, whatever you want to call it, Allah, it don't matter. It's all the same thing, okay? Buddha, it don't matter. It's all the same thing. It's all the, it's, it's the creator, the oneness, the all, right? The universe, whatever you want to call it. If I can be happy and tap into that right now, then how, how could I ever want or desire anything? I can't want if I already have everything I need here and now. So then when you're over here chasing or creating material happenings, circumstances, material wealth, right? It's kind of like I'm, I'm doing it because I'm a creator and I enjoy it. But I know this isn't gonna make me happy. And again, like I said, the only reason we ever actually go after these things is because we think they'll make us happy. If we know they won't make us happy, if we know, because wherever you go, there you are, you could be a millionaire, but you still gonna have your emotional like turmoils that you have to, you know, face and, and get right, right? But if I can be happy now and get them right now and just sit with the now moment, the presence and the nectar of the moment and be present and be just as happy, then what are we, what are we chasing? materialism is not the answer and this is coming from a capricorn moon like i said y'all i used to let my these material things really eat at me and it's like why isn't it happening how i wanted it to happen or whatever the reason why is doubt by the way and we'll get into doubt we'll get into doubt if, it, if it's happiness that you seek it's always it's always been with you and it's just a matter of just being present and going with the flow. And eventually, those things will come right to you because you're on the frequency of them, of those high vibrational things. So to wrap things up, I say all this to say, do, create, acquire, you know, accomplish, and then realize that it was never about the accomplishment it was never about the money it was never about the things that you acquire the fame the power because happiness was always with you the whole time and being grateful for what you already have will bring you that much more tenfold and it's as simple as maintaining that feeling as often as part you as you possibly can as often and always as you possibly can. I'm about to make a video on acceptance. I'm about to make a video on doubt. I'm about to make a video on so many different topics because y'all like Jupiter has been in Taurus, which has been in my 12th house for the past like year or so. And it's about to go into Gemini in like, I think May, which is my first house. So I'm really excited about that. It's my man's 10th house too. So it's like, you know, things are, I'm really excited anyway. But um, it's been in my 12th house, so it's been illuminating all things like mental health, everything that has to do with the unseen, you know, spirituality and stuff. Jupiter is a planet of expansion, right? So it's been expanding all things mental. So like I've really had no choice but to get my mind right this past year and a half. I've received so many downloads, it's, it's getting scary, okay? <laughs> and I'm just so excited to share them with y'all because, you know, I come from a line of people who dealt with like mental health issues you know my dad was depressed for years god bless him i definitely felt the the, the slipperiness of mental health's thing when you go in the wrong direction right it's it's not funny it's actually like okay so i know hey those who know know and for me to come to a place of like every day waking up and like being happy and truly like present and for me to just be happy with who I am and what I already have is is huge, you know, because I didn't used to be that way. And to be a Capricorn moon and to experience 
wellness is crazy because like that's our emotional states and everybody knows a capricorn is like the most earthy sign right so it's like nice and rigid nice and rigid and we're talking about our emotions it's been a long time coming with this emotional stuff with this mental health stuff but i've really i've really i've really come to some conclusions and it's all about simplifying it's like don't forget the fundamentals okay i'm gonna talk about the fundamentals with y'all as well it's so simple out here don't complicate this thing i'm so serious we'll get into it but yeah chase not the materialism chase god and chase the now moment Ch chase don't even chase be be present and you'll find god in all the details and it'll just come to you and i just oh i can't wait to just break these things down because i have so many like ideas coming to me that are that, are, that are other videos like that is a topic for another video but it's just like i wish i could just speak on it now just stay with me y'all i want to do consistent videos every week so you already know let's go like and subscribe if this video helped you out at all that would mean the world to me and i love you guys and just know materialism isn't the answer you know you're gonna you're gonna achieve those things and you're just gonna want more so what it's not the answer don't let it make you upset don't be tripping okay just achieve and do out of like love and out of creation and out of the desire to just expand and grow yourself but just know that happiness and fulfillment, though, has always been with you. And it, 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 it is not attached to those things. That's all I'm saying. Love y'all, man. Oof. Love y'all, okay? Because y'all are me and we are each other. And your happiness is my happiness, ultimately. And my happiness is yours. So I, I need y'all to be happy <laughs> with me. And, I, like, I'm so serious about that. Anyway, oof. Love y'all. All right. Peace out. <laughs>